Hello everyone, and today we are back for another Looming and Legacy Top 5 video, and we're going to be ranking the Top 5 Pre-Evolved Lumians in 2024. I've made this list twice already, but I wanted to update the list because there are a couple new Pre-Evolved Lumians that improve, and there are some that have fallen off the list altogether. So with that out of the way, let's head right onto this list. Number 5 onto this list is going to be... Odasho. Now, everyone knew Odasho is a very good pre-evolved Lumion. I mean, it's one of the few pre-evolved Lumions that people actually run on teams. This thing is very bulky, having very good defense on both, both sides, and it has the secret ability, Defensive Priority, giving it a plus one melee and range defense boost, which increases its bulk even more. When you combine that with the Health Amulet, this thing really can't die. It's probably the bulkiest Lumion on this list. This thing also has Poison Barbs, Sap Plant, Pestilence, Hypnotize, Return to Sender. This Lumion has so many moves. And the thing that makes Odasho amazing is that it might actually be the best Lumion in its form. What I mean by that is it's better than Worm. And it's probably an even better Lumion than Spreezy because of that drop of youth increasing its defenses. Now, the reason why Odasho is only number 5 and not higher is... It's mainly because it, it is relatively passive. It doesn't really have any offensive threat besides Return to Sender. And even then, you can tell when a Return to Sender Odasho is coming. So, it's really predictable to know when a Return to Sender is actually coming. Despite that though, Odasho is still very good. And it's definitely still one of the best pre-evolved Lumions in the entire game. As it made the top 5 on this list. Number 4 onto this list is going to be Copperage. Now, a lot of people might be shocked that Copperage is on this list, mainly because you could just use the same set with Oxy Drake and it works pretty well. The thing is with Copperage is that when you run Drop of Youth, you actually gain Range Bull, which on Oxy Drake, you don't really have good range defense unless you really heavily invest into it. You can run the Drop of Youth, and your range defense is actually a lot higher, making Copperage a very good overall tank. That doesn't even mention, it, it of course increases its melee defense as well, making it very bulky on both sides. You can run a playful Copperage to increase, to set up Sharpens for like a Kirillin or like a Barbadger and be very overpowered. Or you can run Oxidize and swap into a Water or Air type attack and get a melee defense increase. But the thing that makes Copperage one of the best pre-evolved Lumians is the fact that it has Barb's Driving Force, meaning it's a Lumian that can set up Barb's and Driving Force the opposing Lumion out, which makes this thing really dangerous. And another thing that makes Copperage amazing is that it has Rejuvenate on top of that. And it also has Primal Slash Stab to hit those pesky spirit types. Copperage is just overall a very good pre-evolved Lumion, and it deserves number four on the list. Number three onto this list is going to be Raburn. Raburn is one of those Lumions that can kind of be run in a lot of different ways. You can run a very robust set. You can run a robust, robust clever set. You can run a offensive awakening set with Drudge if you really want to. But as a defensive option, this thing is amazing with terrifying. Not only that you lower the melee attack of the opposing Lumion, but you also have Barbs, Raging Flame, Slapdown Utility, and Body Crash. And Raburn has a relatively high melee defense stat, so you can actually hit really hard in return with Body Crash. Now, this thing also has Drudge, so you can also set up Drudges, but the biggest thing you gotta be careful for is that when you actually set up Drudges, it doesn't actually boost Body Crash. It would boost its other moves, though. And when you run Raging Flame and Barb, you tend to drop very important moves. So you, this is one of those Lumions that does suffer from 4-move Syndrome, but despite that, Raburn is always a very solid option to run. And honestly, its biggest flaw is probably that it doesn't have a healing move. It can't really heal its health back unless you either have a Sat Plant Lumion or a Lumion with health gift. But other than that, Raburn is awesome, its defensive typing is amazing, and that terrifying ability can really be helpful in a pinch. And that's why Raburn is in the top three on this list. Number two onto this list is going to be Lamp Purge. Yes, Land Purge is one of the best pre-evolved Lumions in the entire game. And this thing can easily be placed number one. Secret ability Land Purge in doubles? Most OP thing in the entire game. The most broken Lumion in the entire game? 
and it's nearly unstoppable in doubles. So yeah, this Lumion definitely has the most broken potential on this list, even more than the number one list. But even used as a singles Lumion, this Lumion can be scary, mainly because of all the moves it can run. It can run Luster Loot and Peace of Mind to, to increase its defenses. It can run Gust to get rid of barbs. And it also has Spike, meaning that you can lower the health of opposing tanks, which is amazing. You also have the Fog Weather, and the Fog Weather is amazing because it disables any abilities from the opposing type Lumions that aren't spirit types. And guess what Land Purge is? A spirit type, meaning that you could set up your Fog Weather, disable other Lumions' abilities while keeping your own. And of course, that doesn't even mention its abilities. Its, re its secret ability is probably one of the best on this list. And of course, you could run Prismatic, and Prismatic just gives you another immunity, which makes Lamp Purge even more useful. This Lumion probably should have been number one, but I think the number one Lumion is just a little bit better than Lamp Purge. Honorable mentions on this list, and honorable mention number one is Makoro. Makoro is still a very good tank that has Body Crash and Rejuvenate. But the reason why I put it lower on the list is mainly because of another water type Lumion that replaced its role. But this thing is still very good, and the fact that it can heal health back definitely gives it an advantage compared to the number one Lumion on this list. But yeah, it's still a very good pre-evolved Lumion, but it does fall a little bit short on this list. The second honorable mention is Puff, and honestly, this was a toss-up between Puff and Snagolt, because Snagolt is also pretty good. I decided to go with Puff, though. Mainly because it's a toxic type that can actually get rid of poison barbs, while Snag Gulp can no longer get rid of poison barbs. Not to mention, Puff is a little bit bulkier, and it has icicle traps, which definitely gives Puff an advantage over Snag Gulp. But honestly, you could swap those two out, and it would be good. But yeah, Puff is an honorable mention. The best pre evolved Lumion in the entire game is Scampy. Nothing new here. Scampy is definitely one of the best pre evolved Lumions in the entire game. It's a Lumion that's fast. It's a Lumion that has amazing melee bulk. It's a Lumion that hits extremely hard. And while its offensive typing isn't the best, it could still break through tanks with resistant hits. It could sometimes two-hit KO a Marath. Keep in mind, Marath resists your hits. And there's a lot of Lumions that can resist your hits, and that's kind of the that's the one thing that does hold Scampy back overall. But after one tamp and one accelerate, your Scampy can easily sweep. This thing is one of the hardest hitting pre-evolved Lumions in the entire game. Mainly because its bulk is in its melee defense. And its moves uses its melee defense as its attack. And since it only has a health stat at 10, it needs trash armor, it needs the melee defense increase, and it needs the drop of youth to increase damage. And that's what makes not, not only a very good melee tank, but this also makes Scampy hit extremely hard as well. This Lumion is dangerous, and this Lumion could easily sweep teams if not careful. And that's why Scampy is number one on the list. And here it is, Scampy, the best pre-evolved Lumion in all of Lumion Legacy. I hope you guys enjoyed this top 5 list. Now, you guys gotta remember, I haven't used all of the pre-evolved Lumions le yet. So, there are probably a couple pre-evolves that I didn't mention on this list. If I missed a crucial pre-evolved Lumion, tell me in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all all later. Bye-bye!